Today, I'm going to answer the question on everyone's mind. Okay, no one's been thinking this, but the other day I was wondering if a driver's ever entered an event illegally, and to my surprise, there has, and it's an absolute gem. Hans Heyer was born on the 16th of March 1943 in Muchengladbach, Germany. He started his racing career in the Netherlands in 1959 in karts and then won the 1962 Dutch 100cc kart championship and then won the 1963 125cc class. In 1965 and 1966 he ran in the Formula K class finishing third in both years. Then from 1968 to 1971 he won the European and German Formula K series. His main success came from touring cars however, winning the 1974 European Touring Car Championship and then the German Racing Championship in 1975 and 76. He attended two European Formula 2 races at Hockenheim, finishing 6th in race 1 and not qualifying for race 2 and made no further attempts in F2. Now it's time for one of the strangest stories you'll see in F1. So Hans entered the 1977 German Grand Prix at Hockenheim on the 31st of July, even though he's barely had any attempts at open wheel racing, he decided it would be a fun idea to try and qualify for the, for the German Grand Prix. With 30 cars in qualifying and only 24 places available on the grid, the inexperienced hire predictably missed the cut. Oh, but by only a few tenths of a second, which is pretty good for a guy that's barely driven in open wheelers, let alone F1. That should have meant his debut F1 weekend was over. But on race day, there was a problem with the start lights. Heyer was friends with the German marshals, and in the confusion, they let him sneak out onto the pits and onto the grid, and no one noticed him. Like, I know it was the 70s and they didn't really care, but how do you let a car that hasn't qualified on the grid in a world championship event? Absolute madness. It was only after 10 laps when his gearbox gave in that the official realised he shouldn't have been racing. He was then disqualified and did not make another attempt in open wheel racing again. Fun fact... He is still noted as taking part in the race on Wikipedia. <laughs> he would then focus on touring cars and GT racing. Very, like, this guy was good in GTs, GTs and touring cars, to be honest. Winning the Spa 24 and the Sebring 12 hours, but never winning the Le Mans 24. But this was not the first time a driver had legally entered a race. In the 1974 USGP, Tim Schenken, who is the Australian Motorsport Director, <laughs> he entered illegally, but the official did notice him after six laps. He was then disqualified. Uh, what is going on? I get it. Again, I get it was the 70s, but what is going on, F1? You're better than this. Hans Heyer is now 77 and having a deserved rest. I mean, this man, absolute bowler. What about the marshals? What happened to them? I want to know. I want to know what happened to those marshals. Did they get fired? Surely. Like, what's going on there? What on earth? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. 70s surely was a... It, it, it was a crazy time in F1. So dangerous, yet so dumb. So dumb. Like, you back then you could have just been friends with the marshals and been like, oh, I want to drive. <laughs> yet, not even have a license. Not qualify. It blows me away. It blows me away that this this was allowed to happen it was crazy but I see it in the video guys a bit of a short one but it was a fun one to make
what on earth? FIA, pull your heads in. <laughs> well, the qualifying was weird. Because I don't think this, well, this won't ever happen again. Unless we go back to that old style of qualifying. But, of course, there was a cutoff point. How was he even allowed to compete in qualifying? He had no... He had two experiences in the European F2. How is he allowed? He drives touring cars and sports cars. What on earth? Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Goodbye.